Um, you're privileged to an awful lot of stuff, um, official things and things that are best kept between you and the official folks that you deal with. Uh, is there an expectation among the principles that you represent that you will exercise some discretion and what you share with others about what goes on? Yes, sir. In your public, in your testimony, in your uh, deposition, you made the, well, first off, we had a hard time pinning down the number of people that you've actually had this conversation with about the conversation that you overheard. Now, our ambassador had no expectation of privacy. He's, you know, blustering around and doing what he's done, but we couldn't figure out how many people you actually shared that information with. And, and I would argue that um, the information is unflattering to the president, unflattering to the ambassador, um, and that um, your discretion is uh, to, you know, at, at odds here. I mean, your testimony or deposition said you shared that with folks who you thought would find it, find it interesting. Well, I'd argue that everybody on the back row would find it interesting, but I don't know that that's necessarily a criterion. So on a go-forward basis, can you articulate that, that uh, in the future when you're privileged to uh, certain circumstances that that, uh, that would be embarrassing to the principal, that if it's official that you share with the ambassador, that's fine, but the folks outside the embassy or folks even within the embassy that don't have a, a need to know that uh, you wouldn't regale them with uh, your uh, recounting of those instances? Sir, I think it was Gordon Sondland who showed indiscretion by having that conversation over. No, 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 you, you're, right. well, that's the first I, my stand, well, excuse second me, thing I, is, yeah, I excuse answer, me, Mr. Mr. Conway, Mr. Conway, Conway, please excuse let me, Mr. Holmes, let me, please, Holmes, let me clarify please, the question. Mr. Holmes, the question wasn't, excuse me, Mr. Let me answer your question, sir. It's, it's my question, you're exactly right, and I get to clarify my question to give the answer, and I'm hopeful I get in a few more seconds because of the interruption from the chairman. His patience is growing thin. I was working hard not to irritate him again, but I failed again. The question is of you, Mr. Holmes, your discretion. Gordon Holmes did not have, I mean, Gordon Sutherland did not expect it, privacy, I got that. But you're going to be in rooms for, uh, you've been in rooms 17 years with, uh, where people trust that when whatever went on in that room and left, that you kept it to official channels, that you didn't share all that information with other folks. And I'm just asking you to, 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 to uh, argue for your, on your own behalf that interesting is not some sort of a criterion that you would use then when, when you share information from uh, from meetings simple straightforward question sir i shared the information that i needed to share with the right people who needed to know it i did not share any information that people didn't need to know but you did use the word interesting Mr. In Conway, your, your, your time you is expired. certainly was interesting sir and, and i would also hate to think that that what I brought before this this process, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh, I've come here because you've subpoenaed me to share what I know, and I've done that. So, as you were cut off when you were talking about Mr. Sondland's indiscretion, did you want to finish that answer? Uh, I think, uh, Mr. I, I, Chairman, that's sorry. patently unfair. Ms. Conaway, as you've run this entire, it's unfair, entire investigation. It's unfair, Ms. Conaway, to interrupt the witnesses as you, as you have done repeatedly. Well, but you're, you're certainly willing to up your interrupt time, me during my five minutes. You have, you're the only person on this dais that has sir, unlimited Conway, time. You have absolutely Conway, unlimited time. You're the only one that has abused that power, and you're continuing to do Conway, that. Conaway, the gentleman will cease. We allow the witnesses to answer the question, even if those asking the question don't want to hear the answer. Mr. Heck, you are right. Does that apply to you as well? Mr. Holmes, much yes, has been made about the use of both regular and irregular uh, foreign service or diplomatic channels. My reading of history is that American presidents have on occasion used irregular channels. Would you generally agree? Yes, sir. And my reading of history is 